Howdy folks, Ken here with Dominion. I uh, set a new area yesterday. You can see some of it behind me. There's a creek here that we thought was pretty shallow, but it's actually up to 10 foot deep in some spots. And there was a whole lot of damage. I don't know if you can see that hole right there. I'll show it to you in a later video, but there was a dam there or a beaver lodge there, I should say. And then there was a beaver lodge here. And both these holes are real deep. You think you could walk off into it, but you're five, six, seven foot deep in as soon as you do. And there's not a whole lot of area to set drowners, but I set a drowner in here. I had a little bit of space. And I set a conibear in here with some food lure. We pulled up and the conibear has got a pup in it. You can see that pup there. A little bit bigger than the last pup I caught. We weren't even sure that this place was going to produce because the rain had brought the rain had brought the water up all the way past this. And if you look, just to kind of give you an idea, these trees here, this whole branch came from somewhere else, but there's grass and stuff tossed up from the rain. You can see the hill here. The grass is all knocked over up here. This whole thing flooded over all the way up to the top of that and then flooded over the top of that. So the two lodges that were in here that I was gonna come set on got washed out in that big flood. So we have that one little pup in there and then I've got a drowner in here with the trap missing. Had just a little bit of caster on it and get it pulled up here. You can see we got a pretty decent beaver. Decent enough that he bent that rod real good. So Looks like it's a male. Yeah. Looks like it's a male. Pretty thick tail. So, one male here. One pup here. And still two more traps to check. So, I'll get over there. Alright, I went and looked at those other two drowners. And one of them's still there, but... This one's missing. They had a lot of lodges in here and a bunch of holes. And with all that moisture, a lot of it got washed out. But I have a little mound there that I made. Put a little bit of a caster on it. Maybe some damage stopper, some of Andy Weiser's damage stopper. But then I had that trap in there. The trap in there was kind of deep because it probably about six, eight inches is where the trap was sitting. But the trap is gone and you can see there was a little bit of touching going on on that mound before that beaver got caught so let's pull it out of here and see what we got with a big flat tail Look at that. So I caught an adult male overnight. And another adult female. And one of her pups. So we had a, a decent run here overnight. As I was saying, I expected the uh, place to be washed out and the beaver would be gone, but shows what I know. Even after the big rain and their lodges get destroyed, they still got holes in the bank somewhere. And they were moving in here last night trying to make sure they could get everything back up and running. So we're gonna get set heavy. We knew there was a lot of beaver in here. I thought 
based off of how much damage was in here a couple weeks back that there was at least two family groups and there was cows all over this pasture it kept me out of here because i fi figured this was too shallow to run drowners and i was just going to be running snares and conibears. bears but we set one con bear and it connected we set three drowners and two of them connected so we'll double up our traps and probably add a few more snares try and clean as many of these beaver out of here as we can all right folks can't hear with dominion back at it after catching those four other beaver today and we have one more pond to check we set some more sets in the place it was really popping off and i had a drowner in here on this uh on this duck pond that I've been pulling beaver out of. And I had a bunch of smart beaver in here. I, I pulled, I think five or six out of here before I really started having issues with trap shy beaver giving me fits and catching them. And I put another set in with very, very little guiding in an area with very little caster mound and kind of mixed it up with a little bit of caster and a little bit of food lure. And I got another big beaver sitting here and it's alive. The set. Is right here and you can kind of see some of the sticks right there I had to keep it from coming up around this side there's a little caster mound in there other than that there was just no guiding and uh, apparently he fought enough to get the rear end of my stake pulled up but he got tangled up here this is another one of those KO beaver extremes and uh, those KR KOs really hold. Well, got that beaver pulled up. I can see why the beaver got the end of the drowning rod out of the mud. And that's because that beaver was caught by the front foot. Not one, but both front feet. Generally, when a beaver, his front foot caught, if they're not drowned really quickly, they'll wring that front foot off. But this was a KO Beaver Extreme, and I haven't had a ring off in any KO Extremes yet. This one is the second beaver I've caught in the last month that had both front feet in the trap. But you can see how when that beaver is on the bottom of the water, bottom of the pond, with both front feet tied up and both back feet loose, it's able to get its back feet on the bottom of the pond and pull up to where that rod comes out. And that's what happened. So, another win for the KO. Any beaver that's front foot caught like that has the possibility of getting the rods out with its back foot, especially in the real quicksand style silt at the bottom of some of these ponds so that is a big win for the ko big win for us too all right folks got the rest of the traps ran ended up with five good beaver today one of them was really old but we had one pup one nursing female and then i think three other males with one of them being a big beaver See this big guy here? That right there is a big beaver. I don't think I'm gonna get to weigh them all. I didn't bring my scale with me. But, five flat tails, one day. When you're on location, you're on location. So, scout them out, find out where they're at, set the traps, pull them out. Dominion out.